Hey everyone, I'm Robert from Staking Facilities and in this quick tutorial I would like to show you the process of how you can stake your Atom, the native token of the Cosmos blockchain, with the Kepler tools, so the Kepler browser extension as well as the Kepler web wallet. This video is structured into three main parts. The first one is the setup of your web wallet and your Kepler address, followed by the main part, namely how you can stake your tokens. And then lastly we will go through some staking operations, for instance like um, how you can stake more, how you can undelegate, and so forth. Before you continue with this tutorial, please make sure you have the Kepler browser extension installed. I will put the links down below. I think currently it's only available for Brave and Chrome. And in case you own a ledger, we also prepared a second um, tutorial on how you can stake the, your atoms with the um, ledger alongside with the Kepler tools. In case you do not own a ledger, you can continue with this with this tutorial. However, I would like to point out that using a ledger hardware or a hardware um, wallet um, is by far the most secure way of managing um, your keys. And depending on how much you stake, you might want to consider uh, buying one. It's probably worth the investment. I think it's around 60 to 120 euros, depending on which model you are going to buy. The Kepler tools work um, with the Ledger Nano S as well as the Ledger Nano X. Um, yeah, if you have any questions about this tutorial, staking on Cosmos or about us, always feel free to shoot us an email or join our Telegram channel. I will put both links down below as well. And now without further ado, I would like to jump into staking. All right, once you have the Kepler browser extension installed. You can find it on top here in your browser bar. Just click it and then you are presented with some options. Um, you can either sign in with Google, create a new account, import an existing account or import your ledger account. Um, since we assume that you are a first time user and for the sake of this video, we will just go with option number two. And this presents you with a very important screen, namely your mnemonic seed phrase. It's really important that you save this somewhere secure and that you never ever share this with anyone because whoever has access to these um, words ultimate has, ultimately has access to your account and to your funds. So I would even suggest choosing a 20 word um, mnemonic seed phrase to just make it a bit more secure or a bit harder to crack. Um, and then you can give, once you secured this somewhere and written it down, um, I usually write it on a piece of paper and put that in my safe, but how you store it, it's up to you. Just make sure it's, it's secure and then you can continue and name it however you want to name it. I will just go with um, Cosmos account Kepler tutorial. Not the best name, but will be enough. And then you choose a strong password for it as well. Repeat the password and then hit next. I will stop the recording, redo this process so that you don't know my seed phrase. And then we will. So after you've written down your seed phrase as well as given your account a name and the password and hit next, you had to put the um, seed phrase words in order and then you could register and then you are presented with this screen. So hit done. And now your Kepler setup is um, completed and you will be able to find your newly created account in the Kepler browser extensions. So you see the name you gave it, you see your address and your balance. Unfortunately, there's nothing on there yet. So make sure to fund it properly. Um, you can fund it by clicking the address, which will copy the address to your clipboard and then you can withdraw to it from an exchange or wherever you have your atoms lying around. So once you have successfully funded your account, you can see your balance showing up in your um, in the browser extension. You can see how much is available and how much you have staked. We haven't staked yet, so there's nothing to show here. And that really concludes the first part of the video. Your Kepler browser or your Kepler wallet is now all set up and you are ready to stake. And we should jump into part two of this video. So to start the staking process of your atoms, open up the Kepler browser extension and click stake. 
this will open up the Kepler web wallet and a list of all the available um, validators in the or on the Cosmos network. And here I'd like to stress that a decentralized network becomes more secure and ultimately more valuable the more spread out the stake is. So um, Dokia Capital really pushed this initiative um, and I think they, they, they call it even spread your stake. Um, so what we suggest or what other validators as well suggest is to delegate to validators outside the top 10. That being said, you're, you're, you're free to do whatever you like and delegate to whatever validator you like. Um, whoever it will be, make sure to make your own or do your own research about them. Check their website, check their team, try to find out as much about them as possible. And once you have found a delegate or a validator of your choice, mine is quite obvious, I think, uh, look them up on here in this list and then click manage. This will open up this, um, this pop-up window with a short description, a link to their website. Um, make sure to check it out if you haven't done so. And then if you're ready to stake, just hit delegate. And then you can set how much you want to, to stake with this validator. And you see your total available balance up here. And it's really important that you do not stake all of it because you still have to, to cover transaction fees. So I will just go with 4.5 atoms that will leave enough um, atoms on stake so that I can pay for transaction fees. Then click delegate. This will open up another pop-up where you can set um, the transaction fees. Uh, I will just leave them on average, but you can go for low or high if you want it really fast. It's up to you. Um, then you click set fee. This will prompt this over here. You can see how much you are delegating. You can see the validator or the validator address that you are delegating to. And if you're unsure, you can visit the validators website for us you can find our validator address on our cosmos sub page in the top and it's usually pays off to just check the beginning and the end so here you have cosmos validator 1x88j seems right and at the end you have v3p so this seems to be the right address and you can go back over here and approve this transaction and now you have to wait a little bit for it to show on your on your um, browser extension, but that was pretty fast. And now you see how much you have available and how much you have staked. And that's all there is to it. You are now officially a delegator in the Cosmos um, network. You help secure the Cosmos blockchain and you earn rewards for it. So thank you very much and enjoy the ride in part three we will uh, deal with how you can manage your staking operations. All right, in Cosmos, when it comes to managing your staking operations, there's only one important thing that you have to do regularly, and that is claiming your rewards. Um, once you've claimed your rewards, you can either redelegate them to um, leverage the compound effect or send them to wherever you want. Um, Please note that claiming your rewards always incurs a small transaction fee, so you might not want to do that every day, um, but maybe once a month or, or whatever you, you, you feel comfortable with. Um, for the sake of this video, I will claim this, which is kind of a nonsensical operation because I will probably pay more in transaction fees that I have to claim, but let's. Uh, I just want to show you how the claiming process works. So you open up your browser, Kepler browser extension, and then you hit claim. And there you can, can see it incurs a fee, and I'll go with the low fee now, of 0 0.0014, and I have rewards, I don't know, less than that, so I will actually uh, end up losing money, but for the sake of this tutorial, I will go ahead. You set the fee to it, and then you have re your rewards claimed. Sometimes it takes a little bit to to load and if you want to like restake or uh, increase your staking amount you can either um, go to a new validator and stake or go to the same validator and increase your staking amount for that you go back to the Kepler web wallet look for your validator click manage and then just repeat the, the same process pretty much 
um, choose an account again, uh, an amount again, sorry. Again, please make sure it's less than, than you have available because you still need to pay for transaction fees. So I'll just go with uh, 0 0.4, hit delegate, choose the transaction fees you want. You can double check how much and where to. I remember that this is the correct address. Um, and then you hit approve. And this is how you um, redelegate your staking rewards to leverage the, the compound effect. Okay, um, sometimes it pays off to, to reload the uh, web wallet page. If you just um, started the staking process, it takes some time for it to catch on and then to display other staking operations that you have. And the two other main ones that you have if you are staking with a validator is to either stop the delegation or do a redelegation where you then just choose another validator that you want to, to stake with. And if you want to perform either of these two, look for your validator. It's indicated with a purple dot here and hit the manage tab. So if you want to undelegate, choose undelegate from this drop down menu and then hit delegate. It's, it's, yeah, it's a bit weird that it says delegate, but this will actually trigger an undelegation, undelegation transaction, um, which you also have to uh, choose a transaction fee and then approve like we did in the other transactions before. Please note though that this um, action will um, require you to wait for three weeks before your um, delegated funds become liquid again. So if you want to sell your atoms or transfer them to someone else, please note that once you're undelegated, you have to wait 21 days before you can move your funds. And the other option you have is just redelegate um, to another validator. So if, you, if you're not happy with your validator, you can just trigger this transaction and then you are staking with another validator. Process is exactly the same. You choose a validator here, click redelegate, set the fees and approve the transaction. Yeah, and that's that's pretty much it. That's staking on, on Cosmos using the Kepler web wallet and browser extension. It's a super seamless um, process. The guys over at the Kepler team did a great job, um, highly appreciate it. If you have any questions, again, either feel free to comment down below, visit our Telegram channel, which is linked in the description of this video, or shoot us an email, and we're always happy to help you out, or just simply chat about the blockchain space. I hope this video was helpful to you, and thanks for watching.